In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, southern Ukraine and specifically uh, Kherson and uh, Saporizhia Oblast uh, that are uh, very important, uh, really. Uh, so one thing that we can mention, first of all, is, uh, is uh, that uh, Kherson uh, controls a crossing, a very important crossing of the Dnieper and Saporizhia itself does too, of course, the city, although that is not under Russian control at the moment. Um, but yes, this is a crossing of the Dnieper and as I've said, uh, the Dnieper is the best natural defense line in Ukraine. Uh, but there is also quite a bit more to it than the more uh, military strategic uh, part. Uh, so, uh, this city here, we can, we can switch base map here even. Energodar um, is incredibly important for Ukrainian energy production. Uh, so, this um, nuclear power plant over here was... I can go into this mode for that, actually. Yes, so uh, this nuclear power plant, uh, Saporizhia uh, nuclear power plant, is the uh, um, power plant in all of Ukraine that produces the most uh, electricity and by quite large uh, margin as well. Uh, so I, I noted here on the side, um, how much it produces. I also made this table. And you see that there is not a single other power plant that is even close. And the second biggest power plant in Ukraine is right here. Just, you know, uh, is that even, even two kilometers away? It's, it's really close. And it's the uh, Saporizhia th uh, thermal uh, power plant. And together, these two make up uh, around uh, a, a bit above actually 20% uh, of Ukraine's electricity production. And there is more than that as well. So uh, here we have. Um, well, here the other map mode is definitely better. So, um, here we have the North Kremlin Canal, or at least a part of it stretching from uh, Novo, Nova Kakovka to Crimea itself, but it also extends further into Crimea and um, is essentially uh, the primary source of uh, irrigation in a large part of the peninsula. Uh, now this canal uh, was uh, blocked off by a, uh, uh, by a dam that was uh, closed off or built by Ukraine after Russia uh, seized uh, Crimea from them and th this has led uh, Crimea to have some trouble with its uh, water supply and irrigation uh, so one of the first things that Russian forces uh, aimed to do when they invaded uh, Kherson Oblast was uh, seizing this uh, dam and on the 26th of February they blew it up and restored uh, water access to the Crimean Peninsula. Um, yeah, uh, there is one last thing as well, which is uh, something I have briefly mentioned before, uh, but it is possible that Russia wants a land bridge between uh, Russia proper and uh, the Crimean Peninsula. 
that would be these two oblasts, Saporizhia oblast and Kherson oblast, uh, would then be the two um, provinces of Ukraine uh, connecting uh, the Donbass to Crimea. Um, and in Donbass, uh, Russia essentially has uh, something very close to um, control over these uh, separatist republics, right? So this would give Russia quite direct access uh, to to Crimea and also prevent uh, Ukraine from being able to close off this uh, North uh, Crimean Canal again. Um, I should say though that it's uh, it's possible that even if Russia plans to seize uh, Kherson and uh, yeah Kherson Oblast, that's quite likely. It's not certain that they will seize all of Saporizhia Oblast uh, because this uh, city here will be uh, hard to, to, to take, I think, uh, because you likely have to be able to approach it from both sides here. And then you will likely have to take Nikolaev first before you can go move on uh, uh, um and as well as come from the east here. Now, I think it's quite likely that that part will be achieved relatively soon because um, after Mariupol, Russia will likely be quite free to amass forces here and push northwards. Uh, so yes, that uh, is uh, largely why uh, these two provinces are so important and uh, they really do deserve a bit more attention than what they, than they generally get.